Okay, now that we have our object file, we're going to make an aircraft file. So we go aircraft, sorry, we go plane, x plane 12, plane maker, and we open a new aircraft file. And if there's another aircraft here, you just go file, new, and we have a new aircraft file. File, save as, go to our aircraft folder, give it a name, save, understood, some, uh, something to get back to later. And we go to our aircraft folder and we see an aircraft file, Fokker B4 dot aircraft. We can import our object fairly easily. Standard objects, add, select the object from the object folder, fuselage, select, um, it's oriented the wrong way, so let's flip it 180 degrees. This aircraft model is going to be for the visuals, and it's not going to be for aerodynamics. The hollow cylinder that you see is going to be the aerodynamics, so we need to match them up. Right, let's follow along. Standard bodies. This is body one. We're going to call this fuselage. Okay. We need to set the number of stations first to the minimum and the number of radii to the minimum. You can always make it better later. And to start easy. Next is the grid radius for body. This is the radius of the maximum width of the cabin. So now it's 0.6 meters, which means from side to side the aircraft will be maximum of 1 meter 20. Now if we quickly open Blender and we select our fuselage and we look here at dimensions, we can see the X is 1 meter 88. So that's going to be 90 centimeters. Let's, let's call it one meter for the radius. Let's go left background bitmap, Playmaker left fuselage. I prepared this one with only the fuselage and nothing else. So from the front to the back, the fuselage is going to be 11 meters 94. So we'll make this frame 11 meters 94. Now we can start working on the side frame here because we can set the length with plus and minus keys on the top of the keyboard. We can set the length of the fuselage to the length of our drawing. And now it's just basically put the dots in the right place. So let's start here with one frame. That's the first one. Well, let's add a few more. Um, I can add a new one by just pressing on the plus here. So the first one was at 41 centimeters. Let's make the next one at 1 meter 50. And let's drag this down and let's drag this down. And again, we're not going to build the cockpit. I'm just going to build the fuselage. Yeah, they're not exactly the same yet. If you press space, you can see the wire view and I can see my actual fuselage is slightly lower than my aerodynamics fuselage. I go to standard objects and now I just move this object down. So is this vertical? Yeah, it is, but that's a little bit much. 
and I can line them up exactly like that. Okay, I am back from a little break and then I did some more work and I didn't press record. So I'll show you what I did. Um, as you can see, the fuselage is still very, very crude, um, but I've added two objects, uh, a cockpit object and uh, an underwater object. Uh, bodies, fuselage, and then here, this one is cockpit. And this one is underwater object.